Uh, first on the agenda tonight is Resolution 8-15. Resolution 815 honoring Richard Hoffman on his 100th birthday. Mr. President. Mr. Tebb. I move that Resolution 8-15 be passed on its first reading after having been read. Second. second. The motion in the second is to pass Resolution 815 on its first reading after having been read. We will hold discussion until after the resolution has been read. The resolution honoring Richard Donald Hoffman as he celebrates his 100th birthday on December 25th, 2015. Whereas on December 25th, 1915, Richard Donald Hoffman was born to Frederick Henry Hoffman and Agnes Catherine Hoffman. And whereas Richard attended <coughs> South High School and Capital University in Columbus, Ohio, he left Capital to begin work with City Loan and Savings Company in 1937. He left that position to join the United States Naval Reserve, where he received three battle stars for his participation in the Pacific for the battles of Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and Lungayan Gulf. And whereas, upon returning in 1946, Richard returned to City Loan to the position of Assistant Office Manager and began to rise quickly among the ranks at City Loan. By 1966, Richard became the president of City Loan and the chief executive officer. He finished his career at City Loan by serving as the chairman of the board from 1968 until 1985 and retired with 48 years of service to this organization. And whereas Richard Hoffman's excellence is not only in the workplace, but carried over into his personal and community life. In 1940, he married Betty Ann Metcalf and his father to five children. Richard has been very involved in charity organizations and very active in Lima Civic Affairs. He served as president of the Lima Club, member of the Advisory Board of St. Rita's, the American Management Association, and the National Consumer Finance Association, director of the Lima Area Chamber of Commerce, life member of the Lima Convalescent Home Foundation, member of Masonic Lodge No. 4, and member of the VFW. Richard served as president of the United Way, was chairman of the advisory committee for OSU at Lima, and also chairman of the Lima Rotary Foundation. And whereas Richard currently is a member of the Shawnee Country Club, the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks Lima Club No. 54, longtime member of Ohio State University President's Club, and a member of Trinity <clears throat> United Methodist Church. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the City of Lima, Ohio, that the Lima City Council wishes Richard D. Hoffman a very happy 100-year birthday on December 25, 2015, and congratulates him for his many accomplishments in his workplace, personal, and community life. Signed, John G. Nixon, President, David J. Berger, Mayor. Is there any discussion? Mr. President, Mr. Tevin, uh, I just want to uh, recognize that uh, Mr. Hoffman's daughter, Linda Patton, is in the audience, son John is in the audience, and granddaughter Stephanie Patton is in the audience. And Stephanie had contacted me regarding this resolution, and I spoke to them uh, just before tonight's meeting. Uh, it was very interesting when she sent me the uh, the write-up uh, about her grandfather's life, uh, what a full life, uh, what a life of service, and what a difference people like that make in the community. So I just want to uh, thank you again for bringing this to my attention and happy that Lima City Council can provide the resolution for your grandfather. Is there any further discussion? Mr. Mr. President. Yes, I just have a couple things to say there. And this is very exciting to me because when I was a young kid, my dad was telling me about that's when he came from Alabama, this is the only way he can get a loan for his car. And the Huffman, I, and this name came about when I looked at my docket. And mom said, that's him. That's the man. That's the good man that gave dad, your dad the money to get his car wet because he couldn't get a loan nowhere. <laughs> now I'm a young man now voting for him for his birthday. This is exciting. You know, that came about. But... Uh, my mom and dad had, my, my dad couldn't, he had a stroke right now, but mom said good things about it when dad paid 
what, $18 a month for his car. And yet his city loan was the only one to give him a loan. And he said, Mr. Huffman. <coughs> so, wow. so it's exciting right now that I get the opportunity now. I'm a city councilman get to say yes to it. They never met him in my life. I get to see you guys. So exciting. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. Is there any further discussion? Yeah, Mr. President. Mr. Gordon? Yeah, um, in reading this resolution, I seen um, that he graduated from South High School. Mm -hmm. uh, and my grandmother passed away mm -hmm. on Friday. And she would be one, her 100th birthday is coming up. So I imagine, and I didn't actually see this till Friday, and that's the day she passed away. So I would have been, I would have loved to have been able to, I bet you they knew each other. They did. They, I'm sure they are in the same class. Yeah. And one, one thing that I found out, and I was going to talk about this a little bit later from just knowing my grandmother, is that people went through this time, uh, they're so full of dignity, mm -hmm. so full of integrity, uh, you know, that you just can't help but admire them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure that your father is the same way. I'm sure that he just is. One class. Your name? Uh, it was Alice Harder, uh, Alice Harder. and and she, when she graduated high school, but and my last name is Gordon. But yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm glad this that this came up tonight, and uh, mm -hmm. thank you for being here, and, and I'm sure you uh, enjoy him. May I say something? That's, we need to take the vote first, okay? But yes, you do. You do get an opportunity. All three of you actually get an opportunity to speak, okay? Uh, is there any further discussion? I will have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Gordon. Yes. Mr. McLean. Yes. Mr. Lowe. Yes. Mr. Tevin. Yes. Ms. Adams. Yes. Mr. Glenn. Yes. Mrs. Miles. Yes. And Mr. Nixon. Yes. Resolution 815 has been passed on its first reading by an 8-0 to zero vote. Um, Councilor Tevin did a lot of the uh, legwork on this, so I'm going to have him present the official resolution to the family. And then uh, you will have an opportunity afterwards to come up and speak. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, I'm John Hoffman. I'm his son, and Lynn, you've met Linda Patton and Stephanie Patton, um, and we are representing Richard Hoffman tonight. Uh, I spoke, we all spoke to him uh, uh, just an hour ago, and he regrets that he cannot be here to thank you for this uh, resolution himself, but he, he just can't make it tonight. Um, however, uh, he wanted me to tell you that it has been his privilege uh, to work with the community of Lima and the city of Lima. Uh, when we talk about his career, uh, it's a Horatio Alger type story. Uh, he dropped out of college in the middle of the depression. His father died. He was the sole support for his mother, his brother, his wife, his infant daughter. Uh, and just as they got on their feet, he got drafted and went to the Pacific. When he came back, he, he came back with city loan. They were good enough to give him a job. And in a few years, he was transferred to Lima. And that became, uh, that just turned into a great, uh, mutually beneficial uh, relationship. He got involved in the community. Uh, city loan gave him the opportunity to support the community. And he donated his time and the community uh, gave him the opportunity. Uh, he wanted me to make sure I said thank you for the opportunity. So, and thank you for this. And he'll remember your your uh, grandmother. Uh, his he remembers everything. <laughs> you may get a call. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.